Hello, this is Cartoon Silver Fox, and welcome to my new art channel. Here I've done the speed paint video of a picture of Ratchet and Clank. And, well, I've done speed paint videos before, but I thought that maybe it would be interesting to try and do some, try and do one with commentary instead of just adding music to make it more interesting and to explain how I draw and certain steps of the picture and things like that. Plus, when it's a video this long, it's probably more interesting to watch when someone's actually talking instead of just listening to music the whole time. So I thought I'd try it out after seeing some of the YouTubers do it and see how it goes. So yes, in this picture, as you can see at the moment, I'm doing the sketch. The sketch was actually pretty quick for me to draw for a change. Usually it takes quite a bit longer to... Well, it depends on the movement I'm drawing, really, but this one didn't take too long. The one thing I noticed, like, nearly finishing the picture is that I actually kind of made a mistake on his movement, like, his left arm and his left leg should actually not be going back, both backwards, one should be going in front, but for some reason, uh, the whole time I was sketching, I didn't seem to notice that, it was just, by the time I noticed it was too late to actually change, otherwise I'd have to redraw everything, but... For some reason, it doesn't look too bad like that, I think, even though it doesn't actually make sense, so, um... Despite that, I'm still pretty happy with the result of this picture at the end. So yeah, this is Ratchet running with um, the plasma whip and doing the line art. As you probably noticed, um, possibly noticed that I changed the um, art program when starting the line art. When I was sketching, I was drawing on GIMP, which I'm used to using, and I've recently been using Fire Alpaca to draw the line art since I think it comes out pretty well and it's actually easier to do neat looking line art than on GIMP. At least I find anyway. So yes, doing the lines. I think the line art is one of the bits that takes the longest for me to do usually. It's one of the most tedious parts but afterwards the result's usually pretty good. So yeah, my method for doing line art is by um, trying to do um, one like line in one fell swoop so that it comes out neat. That usually takes quite a few tries depending on the line. Occasionally I manage to do it right first time, but that's that's not often. One has to be lucky, really. I mean, I used to do it in a different way. Like I used to kind of sketch the line, the line art and then rub out the edges to make it neat but that looks messier and just takes way longer so I haven't done that in quite a while. This method is easier but a bit frustrating when you keep doing the line wrong. Um, you can also you probably use the, the curve line tool in GIMP as well. I don't know if, I don't know if Fire Alpaca has that tool, I have to check. But uh, that's also a possibility. In GIMP at least. So yeah, drawing Ratchet's armor, which is <laughs> pretty detailed and took a while to draw. Probably the most difficult part of the picture, actually. Yeah, the reason I decided to draw these two is because, well, I'd recently been replaying the first three Ratchet and Clank games, and as a result, I was kind of in the mood to draw them. And well, this really this is a picture I'd actually wanted to do like years ago, but never got around to it. Drawing Ratchet and Clank in one of the um, the areas in the third game, since that one's my favorite out of the three. So yeah, one will see when I start drawing the background that I decided to draw them in um, the level. What's it called? Um, Obani Draco. Yeah, since I mean the level itself is pretty short and nothing special, but I'm I really like the design and stuff, and I thought it'd be cool to try and draw part of it. Originally, this picture wasn't supposed to be as detailed as it ends up being, so. That's probably why the video is kind of long as well. If I do more speed paints after this, I'll probably make them quicker or try and make the videos shorter and with simpler pictures. Like maybe not always drawing a background, for example, or at least not one as detailed as this. So yeah, for the colouring, I kind of selected parts that were the same colour or tried to and then coloured them in. I also did the glass thing um, over Ratchet's eyes on a different layer over it, as well as the line up for that, so that it would I could also make it see through afterwards, since I think that's a pretty good way to give it a transparent effect. 
Yeah, adding the stripes on his fur. Also did that on a different layer since it would make it makes it easier afterwards to um to kind of smudge with the rest to make it look more like fur and less straight, I guess. Drawing the plasma whip. Yeah, I guess I could have given him a gun or something, but I remember really liking the plasma whip when I played this game years ago when I was younger. Actually replaying it is not even the most useful weapon in the end, but it's still pretty cool, I find. It looks pretty cool anyway, so I wanted to draw that. On to the background. Took quite a while as well to do, though I actually tried to go quicker than usual. The bits that I felt like were a bit rushed, but I still kind of like the result anyway. Wanted to draw these glowing stripes. So yeah, here I'm shading, adding some shade to the purple ground, and then adding these kind of techno sort of lines that are on, patterns that are on them. Not really sure what they are exactly, but it looks cool. And blurring them. Yeah, there's quite a bit of blurring in this, especially for the glowing parts. And onto the pink electric bit. Which will also make glow later. But yeah, this is a pretty cool looking level I find, so I wanted to draw it. And adding more detail. And these tube things, which I end up changing later since I realized I kind of drew them wrong compared to the reference picture. Oh yeah, another thing you'll notice is I often have reference pictures on the side since if you want to draw a specific character or place like that already exists, it's kind of easier to just... It really helps to have a reference, because just trying to guess... I don't know, I find it ends up looking wrong and not really serving as much, since at least when you use a reference, you're actually learning how to draw certain things, which can be useful later on for other things as well. So yeah, on to the glowing effect. Which was also done on a different layer, so that I could change the opacity and make it like brighter or weaker depending depending on the result you want really same with the electricity on the pink area now onto the shadows which were also done on a different layer I kind of tried to add a light purple shadow under the whip so that it would kind of have a more glowy effect not sure if it works or not but to see the yeah, one thing that was probably a bit annoying was that I did the background on the same layer, which I find is good for a painted style, but then if you realize you've made a mistake, it's more difficult to change. But I'd say if you're new to drawing backgrounds, it probably helps to have numerous layers, like not too many either, but some so that you can change something more easily if you want to afterwards. Like if you find out that there's something that you don't quite like how it looks or something like that. But uh, the reason I did most of it on the same layer, apart from the glowing effects, is just because I like the painted style it gives. I find it a, a little easier to do that sort of style. Since instead of doing anything really neat, you kind of feel forced to to keep the different areas of the background blending, if that makes any sense. So yeah, now I'm shading the characters. I think that was the last step of this picture, really. Try to keep it relatively simple as well, the shade. But with all the details in his armor, it took quite a while. Yeah, it is the easiest way to draw Ratchet is to just draw what he wears in the first game since he doesn't have, like, complicated armor and stuff. But as this was a level from the third game that I was drawing him in, I thought it would look better to actually give him the clothes he wears in that game. So, yeah, on to the... Fur, which I tried to add fur effects, not something I'm actually used to doing, but thought I'd give it a try, see how it works. And then blowing the stripes, to, which helps as well, makes him look a little more fluffy, though not too much as he's not exactly a really furry character. It doesn't have long fur or anything. Onto the eyes, which usually I end up making look pretty shiny, I think that looks pretty nice. Oh, and the, the eyebrows, which I accidentally coloured on the line art layer, so I had to change that. That's probably the main reason why I 
don't usually color in the characters by selecting the areas because I select on the line art layer and then sometimes I forget to go back on the color layer. So as a result, I end up making that mistake. Usually I just end up painting as if it's like a coloring book or something, sort of. <laughs> but it depends. Like him, since he had lots of detail, I thought it'd be easier to select this time. But it's not something I always do. Adding some more kind of electric lines on the plasma whip. Oh yeah, and then the light, the coloured glowing effects coming from the blue and purple lights. Which I think look pretty nice in the end, it kind of gives the character more, more depth I guess. Makes him look a bit more three dimensional. Yeah, I like in drawings whenever there's a light effect, lighting that you can like give coloured glowing effects on the edges, it looks pretty nice. And here I'm just making him purple so he looks more like he's in the area. And that's about it really, I think. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this speed paint video. If you'd like me to do more, just let me know in the comments and have a nice day.